Welcome back to the St. John Speed Shop, fellow modelers. Finally got around to an update on the 69 Ford Galaxy. Had a bit of a disaster with the paint job and rampant arthritis put me behind schedule on this. But let's get into it now, shall we? I ran out of flat black for the chassis, so I just went with a metallic look for it. It's going to be a little bit more custom than I thought. I've got a little bit more painting to do on this, but almost finished. As usual, shaded with Tamiya black wash. Because the engine was uh, an iffy fit. I glued it in and sprayed it all as one unit. Damn it. Well, that's looking good. I wanted the uh, back window tinted for this car, so I went with Tamiya Smoke. Now, you can see when there's light coming through this, it looks like it was sprayed. But once it's that's eliminated. It looks like tinted glass, which is pretty nice. That smoke stuff works pretty good. I'm happy with it. Two-tone Tamiya blue and black for the interior. And a little bit of wood green on the dash. Kind of hard to get to the chrome trim on there without screwing everything else up, so I'm not going to bother with it. That's not too bad. I really like the rims. These came out. I uh, clear coated them with Tester's Dull Coat. Gave them a good hosing with that. Then used Future Floor po Polish on them to give them a stainless steel look. And then went, went with flat black for the interior. I really like how those came out. And these actually wouldn't look too bad if I dry brushed some metallic in there over the raised edges. I'll save that for another build. And in the meantime, I was playing around with this. That's two coats of Tamiya clear blue over the chrome spokes on these rims. I mean, that's kind of sharp looking. I'll test fit them on the car, see what it looks like, but just playing around. Now the body, I had an absolute disaster with. I don't know how long it's going to show up here, but I sprayed it uh, to my metallic blue, taped it up, sprayed the top uh, to my uh, semi-gloss black, and when I took off the tape, well, you can guess what's coming next, I peeled off a lot of the paint. I've had that happen before when I use a silver base coat, but never this extensive. And it's, Tamaya tape didn't take any of the paint off, but masking tape did. If you use silver as a base coat, it might be a good idea to use tape that's less tacky than um, regular masking tape. The blue painter's tape might not be a bad idea. But I'm happy with the way this came out. After watching Mr. G Seeds put out those awesome paint jobs I figure I want to try something a little bit out of my comfort zone this is nowhere near on par with him but it's not a bad start this is not something I normally would have done it's based on something I found online except the blue was a bright green and I've a couple of recent builds I used green on so I wanted to get away from that for this build but I'm happy with how this is turning out so far got a little bit of painting to do still and final assembly in a couple of days. I'll have a finished build for you guys. Thanks for tagging along. Uh, much appreciated to my repeat offender viewers. And if you're welcome to the channel, or if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out my playlist for some more cool stuff. I got all the uh, modeling stuff broken up into categories, so you ain't got to, you know, surf through all the BS. But with that, you guys have a good one, and I am out of this biatch.